Welcome to your workout today. I'm gonna to be using the ball, a bar, and then I have some five pound weights. So threes or fives for this class. Bring your feet under your hips. Let's start with those nice breaths. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, roll it up. Big breath in through your nose. Exhale, roll up. Bringing in that nice energy through your body to get through this class. Start to bend down and left. Right? And left. Couple more stretches through the side. Arms forward. Bend, lift. Give your core a nice brace so you can balance. Bring your legs upright, up left, lift. Lengthen your spine, rotate here. We're just trying to get your body nice and warm. Arms lift, up. Pull your arms in, then rotate twist, eight. Four, three, and that's one. All right, good work. Go ahead and grab your ball. Come down onto your mat. Take your ball between your inner thighs. Roll down and curl up. Pump, inhale. Lengthen your legs and squeeze the ball. Inhale, bend. Exhale, squeeze. Squeeze, press. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands come back, squeeze your ball. If it's too much out here, you can bend your knees. Keep going for eight, six, try to stay nice and braced here. Two, one, nice, grab your ball, bend your right knee, curl up. Take it up for two, switch. Little tiny crunches, warming up through the top here. Single, alternate right, left. Rooting down through your lower part of your back and then curling up is the key. Seven, six, five, three, that's one. Nice, plant your feet, reach your ball back, two counts. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Up two, down two. Hold this one up, bring your knees up. Little pulse at the top for eight, six, four, three, and one. Get open your knees, big stretch. And then we're gonna head right into a plank. And you're gonna start your plank in full plank with your left hand to your ball. Bring it out wide, wider than your shoulder. Now from here, you're gonna pike your hips, take the ball to the right knee, come back to plank. If you have any wrist or shoulder sensitivity, you can of course do this without the ball. Lift, and lower a little bit of tempo. It's up, down, up. Now take your ball, side plank, turn, tap your ball down. Lift and tap. Bring it tempo. Up, down. Keep going, keep feeling that bottom side really lifted here. Holding here, little pause for eight, six, four, three, and one. Nice, pass the ball over to the right hand. Reset, lift for two. Blink for two. Lift and lower. Pike to plank. Little quicker. Go up. Hold your plank. Turn side plank. Tap your ball. Side. Tap your ball to the beat. Go up. Hold it up. Little pulse right here. Lift your hips. Eight, six, four, three, and one. Good, coming to center. Grab onto your ball with your hands. Come down to your forearms. One squeeze, one tuck. Rhythm is a dancer. 
Hold your squeeze, tiny tucks. Here's your eight, six, four, three, and one. Now soften your knees, bend and flex. Lift your right knee, lift your left knee. Right heel lifts, holding your back flat, looking at your ball. Right leg up, little pulse, for eight. Four, three, right leg down, lift the left, pause eight, seven, six, four, three, and one. Now find your plank again and just hold, press into your ball, hold, hold, hold. Eight, seven, five, four, three, that's one. Nice drop your knees down, big stretch. We're gonna roll up and get into some weight work with the arms. So we're gonna start grabbing onto your weight. Bring your feet parallel, palms forward. Start with a nice strong bicep curl here. Bend and lengthen. Showing you from the side, we have the elbows close to the rib cage, the shoulder blades right over the hips. Hold halfway, little curl. Keep going here, bring your elbows up a little higher. Bend and bend. Now from here, take your left foot back with your left arm, step back. Right foot, right arm back, step in. Back and in. Finding control and 90 degree angles to the beat. Bend, bend. Step back, step back. Hold your right leg back, little pulse. Arms up, right knee coming down. Four, three, right foot in, left foot back. Little lift, pulse. Bending deeper, abs turned on to stabilize. Six, five, four, three. Now bring it back up, be parallel. Little pulse here. Open side, out, open. Hold this next one out, tiny little mini curls here. Bend, bend, elbows halfway down, stretch, curl, stretch, curl. You're going for a W shape with your arms. Out, in, out, in. Holding here, little bend in your knees. Lift your heels if you can, find your balance. Keep your arms working hard. Six, four, three, and one. Good, big shoulder roll. Keep your feet under your hips, deep bend, hinge forward. Squeeze your arms in with a little bend to your knees. Squeeze bend, squeeze bend, tempo. In and down. Hold the in. Right heel, right arm. Left heel, left arm. Really thinking of your pinky toe fingers wrapping, connected to your weight. Super glue your pinkies and then lift from there. Pulsing right, left, right, left. Fold arms if you can. Little lift with a pulse. Arms up, eight, reach back, six, stay strong, three, and one. Awesome job, take your weights up, open and give your arms a nice stretch here. Lean to the left, lean over to the right. And once you feel those muscles fully released, you can set your weights down, and you can go ahead and head to your bar. So we're going to start with your ball up above your knees, inner thighs get a good squeeze, hands to your bar, lift your heels, lower your heels. As your heels come up, try and pop your ball with your inner thighs and finding that nice light grip here, tempo, up, lift. Adding onto this, heels lift, knees bend, 
Extend, lower. Lift, bend, extend, lower. Hold the bottom here. Squeeze your ball. Really connect with your inner thighs. Wrap into your core muscles a little more. Zipper up. Add a pulse. In, down, in, down. Keep that going. Squeeze, pulse, squeeze, pulse. Hold here. Heels, hover, lift, lower lift. Knees stay bent. Inner thighs stay connecting onto your ball. Heels just hover, lift, hover, lift. Adding on, hover, lift, pulse down for two. Hover, lift, pulse down for two. Lower, lift, pulse down, down. Hold your heels high, tiny pulses, add a squeeze to your ball. Going for that burnout feeling right here, so bend down. Work small. If you're newer to our classes, you know we love that feeling of like heat in your muscles. That's going to push those muscles to that fatigue point. You got eight, six, four, three. That's one awesome job. Shake it out a little bit there. And then we're gonna just set your ball down for the next part. Make sure your bar, if it's portable, is rooted down for this one. Feet are under your bar, toes underneath the bar. We're coming to chair. Take it down an inch, up an inch. Down, up. So again, make sure um, that your bar is not gonna move on you. If you don't have something that's rooting down, you can just come in and do semi-chair here with the heels up. Start to pop. Nice chair. Now take your toe, tap the floor, lift your knee up, send it back to lunge, step to chair. Toe, lift, lunge, chair. Toe, lift, lunge, chair. Toe, lift, lunge, chair. Keep going through that. Toe, lift, lunge, chair. One more. We're holding lunge. Arms extended, pulse down and down. If you're looking for a challenge today, go ahead, lift your left leg up. Eight more, six more. I'm staying here today. And one, good, stretch back. Make a triangle with your legs. And grabbing onto your ball, it's coming right below your left heel here. We're gonna be in second position. Start to lower and lift. Feeling your left heel or your right, whichever side you're doing. Press into your ball. Down and lift. Take that tempo. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Down, up. Keep it going. Down, up. Hold the bottom, a little pulse, down an inch, down, and down. Now, I want you to see if you can take your hand that's on the bar, place it behind your back. So we're gonna see if we cannot use that as a little challenge. Bring your left arm out. You're gonna start to reach down to your ankle and all the way up. Down to your ankle, all the way up. If you need your bar, it is there for you. I want you to try to do it without it. Take it down. Up, reach, up. You take your tailbone down an inch, up an inch, down, up. Remember, bar is there if you need it. Hold the bottom, a little pulse. Tiny vent here. Now bring it back up, pulse even lower. Add your arm, maybe add the heel, and add a press into your butt. Press pulse. The last change for this side, pressing, pulsing, eight, six, four, three, and one. Nice work. Take your toes forward, press your ball in the center. And let your elbows come heavy, shift your hips right and left.
soften through your knees. Roll it on up. Good job. All right, let's just reverse those two part of thighs. All right, so other leg works. Toes under the bar, come back to chair. Start to take it down, up. Feel your feet root down to the floor. It should feel like there's a wall right behind you. So the best visual is that you're in that chair. That's nice and upright. Little pulse. Down, down. Micro moves. Take your right foot. Tap your toes. Lift your knee. Find your lunge. Find your chair. Let's move quicker. Tap, lift, lunge. Ideally, your left leg is staying perfectly still. You might need to take your left hand out a little bit more for some of that stability. Tap, lift, lunge, chair. Keep going. Tap, lift, lunge, chair. Hold your lunge, pause, down. Think of that back knee getting really close to the floor. Maybe coming up for a challenge. Right there, pause down and down. So right now you're really working the front leg if you're going for that. Here's eight, six, four, three, and one. Awesome job. Take a step back. Grab your ball. Take it to your right heel or whichever one you didn't do. Second position, coming down. Take it down, press all the way up. Lower down, press all the way up to the V. So your right foot, just controlling that ball. It shouldn't feel like the ball's gonna roll away because that heel is driving down. Hold the bottom, little pulse. Down and down. Now, see if that hand can come back. Just go for it. If it feels wobbly, no worries. Your bar is right there. Bring your right arm up. Down, come up. Tailbone comes down an inch, up an inch. Down, up. One more slow. Keep your chest lifted, find the beat. Reach, up. Keep it going, down, up. Hold the bottom, little pulse. Bend both knees here. Keep that right heel pressing down. You can do it. Push through these thighs, we're close. Arm up, pulse. Add a little press down on your heel. Arm up, maybe add your heel. Last change for this part. Last change for your standing thighs. We do got a little bit on the floor after this. You got eight, six, four, three. That's one. All right, good job. Shake it out a little bit. Bring it right down onto your floor. Grab your ball in your hands. Knees are just a little wider today for some thigh dancing. You're gonna start lowering your tailbone, lifting and pushing the ball forward. So I'm gonna show you from the side. You really want the feeling of these hips kind of like talking up towards the rib cage as you lift. Lower, lift, one more slow. Down two, push, take it tempo. As a matter of fact, I don't let nothing hold your back. If the scat man can do it, so can you. Everybody see, but scat man stop. The dust and that started when you see is. But what you tell them, no, I'm gonna take Good. Now hold your ball out. You're gonna start to hinge back, lift up. Hinge back, lift up. Your range, you might be able to go pretty far back and feel those sides brace, or you might want to take it smaller to the beat. Back. We're almost there. Back an inch, up an inch, back, up. Hold the back, drop your tailbone down, bring your hands to your chest. Start to tuck your hips under, getting that final thigh burn out right here. Squeezing your ball. Big toes should touch, but knees are out here. 
Race your core, zipper in, you got eight. Six, just keep pushing through it. Three, and one. Awesome job, bring your ball forward. Open your knees even wider for a child's pose stretch. When you get here, take your ball over to the right. Take your ball over to the left. And then come up and take your right hand back and your left arm up. Take your left arm down, right arm up. Good. Bring it over to your lunge. Right knee over your ankle. Feel your hips to the floor. Tuck your toes to the floor. Stretch to a full lunge with that leg. And then slide your left foot in, make a triangle. Soften your left knee, lift your right toes off the floor. And lower, bring your toes forward, heels back, grab opposite elbow and gently sway. Plant your hands to the floor. Walk it over to your left foot or your other foot. Come down all the way with your knee to feel your hips heavy to the floor. And then press your toe and come up to a lunge. Slide your right foot back. Soften your knee, lift your toes. Lower, walk your toes back forward. And you can either drop your elbows down and just hang out here, or you can take opposite elbows and find a nice gentle sway right and left. Just continue to breathe. Do a lot of releasing here. Make sure your muscles are not engaged or not tensing. If you're accidentally tensing something, breathe into it. Bend down on your knees, walk your feet in, roll it up so your head is the last thing to lift. All right, we are going to switch to our backside muscles. All right, so we're gonna start on the floor with the ball and the weight. I will say that this exercise, if the ball or the weight aren't working for you, just don't use them. You can do the same thing without them. They're just coming in for some challenge options for us. So the ball, it's gonna be underneath your left knee. Your right hand has a weight like this. You're gonna bend your right elbow so your shoulders can get even. Plant your left toes down. And when you get here, bring your right leg up. Start to lower your right knee, lift it up. Just like tapping your ball, lifting up. Take it tempo. So again, check in. Make sure this works for you today. If it doesn't, lose the weight or the ball. We always focus on form and precision and then we get to challenge ourselves. Now bring your knee to the side. So in, out. Good, we're doing one and one. So down, back, down, out. Really relying on our core muscles to activate and stabilize here. Hold your right knee back. Little pulse. Up, up. Keep feeling that hip. Opposite of where your heel and your knee go. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Step back. You can set your weight down. Step back into your down dog stretch. Walk your feet in. Roll it on up. And then grab onto your bar. Make sure your weight and your ball are just kind of out of your way for this part. You have your left foot forward, your right leg back. Deep bend in, curtsy lunge. 
Arms are straight. Take it down an inch, up an inch. Down and up. Lower, lift. Watch that your hips aren't opening. They're squared into your bar. Rib cage is closed. Perfect form is what we want. Little pulse. Keep bending at the bottom. From here, you're gonna straighten up both legs. Come back down. Now, as you straighten your right leg, just kind of coming out slightly, finding the back diagonal line. Little bit of tempo, go up and down, push. Now, I'm giving you guys a little cardio option here of taking the left leg up, pushing down. So if you wanna get your heart rate up a little more, go for this, and if not, just stay here. Stretching, bending. Doesn't need to be the highest jump. Just a strong job. Change here. We're coming up with that knee wrapped back. Bend, extend. Cueing the arms. Bend. Don't forget to breathe. Hold the top. Little pulse. Wrap it in and up. In and up. Option to bring your heel up if you want for this part. Trying to turn on the outer seat muscles. Three, and one, good, walk back, awesome work. Take a deep, deep breath. We're doing the other side of that right away while the heart rate's high. Right leg forward, left leg back. Start to lower lift, arms straight. Take a second to brace your core. Nice stab, little pulse, this is small. Down, down. Keep pulsing, thinking of that back knee. Finding like an inch above the floor. Now from here, take it up two, down. Little back diagonal, feeling at the top. Really does not need to be high to find that muscle bracing. Little faster, here it is. If you want. Remember, always options. If the jump isn't going for you, stay here. Couple more of these, up and down. For three. Nice, here's your change. Lift. Keep going here. Wrapping up. Hold this one up. Little pulse. Up. Maybe heel up. Keep getting that outer seat working. We're almost there. Eight. Six. Four. Three. And one. Awesome work. Bring your left foot across. Sink down. Make sure you stretch that other side. All right, we're back down on your floor. We gotta finish with that first exercise on the other side. So for me, it's gonna be my right knee to your, my ball. My left hand has the weight. Core is braced, recenter, start to lift. And lower, up, and lower. Up for two. Down for two, up and down. Take it tempo, up. Keep that going, nice and strong here. Now send your knee to the side of your hip, out. So maybe this side, the weight or the ball isn't working for you. Totally fine with me. If you lose those props today and just come to the hands and the knee. One and one, we go back, then side. Keeping your core braced, back, side. Back, and side. Back, and side. Hold this one to the back, little pulse. Up. Press more into your weight if you have that. 
Here's your eight. Six, four, three, and one. Awesome job, send your feet back. Big stretch. Paddle out your legs a little. Come down on your floor. You're just gonna have your bell in front of you here, elbows wide. And if you don't wanna be up here, you can just rest your forehead to your bell. Start to lift and lower right leg, left leg. Lift right, lift left. Right and left, kind of like your last little part of glute work today. Both together if you can, up. Hold them up, flex your feet, bend your knees, stretch out. Bend, heels connect, stretch out. Bend and stretch. Hold it bent, heels should be up to your ceiling. Start to press them up. Think of stomping through your ceiling tile if you have that. Go for that, eight more, six more, four, three, and one, awesome work. Right into child's pose to stretch out your back. Roll on up. Great job so far. We're just gonna get into some core work. All right, so for core work, you're gonna take your ball behind your back, take your feet flat to the floor, come into a nice rounded spine, feel the lower part of your back rooting to your ball. Start to lower and lift. Down, up, lower, lift. Now if you can, arms come forward. Lower, lift. And if this is too much, just come here. Inhale, exhale. Hold here, right knee lifts, turn to the right. Come back center. Turn to the left, come back center. So you're really not moving your arms. You're just rotating around your spine for this tempo, right. Left, lots of control here. If you're laying down, you're not gonna feel it as much. So come up, feel that core brace. Pull the right knee up, take a little pulse here. Right leg down, lift over to the left, little pulse up. Good, back center, walk your feet out, flex your heels, sink back, lift up, back, up. Tiny pulses up, bring it up, up. It's like you're tightening a seatbelt back as you lift your chest here. For eight, six, four, three, and one. Awesome, grab your ball. Squeeze it between your inner thighs. Come down, knees tabletop, arms to your side. I want your arms out a little wider, so like diagonal lines here. Inhale, bring your toes forward. Exhale, squeeze your ball to lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale to squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, one more, down and up. Now bring your knees over to the right, come back to center. Over to the left, come back to center. When your knees travel back above your hips, squeeze your ball. Inhale, exhale, little tempo, just go right, squeeze, left, squeeze. Really think of your opposite side, rooting and pulling those knees back. Little combo, forward two, up two. Right, center, left, center. Forward, squeeze, exhale. Right, and left, keep going there. Forward, inhale, squeeze, exhale. Right, and left. Again, you go forward, exhale, right, 
and last, hold here. Hands come behind your head. Take a little curl up. Add a squeeze to your ball. And today we're grabbing your ball, finishing with leg scissoring, going right and left. Option to bring it bent if you want, but try and get your ankles up to your ball. Eight more, six more, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, rest down. Bring your knees to your right, reach your arm left. Bring your knees left, reach your arm right. All right, so to finish, grab onto your weight. Again, I have my fives, threes or fives, whatever you have, grab them, take them in your hands, and we're gonna get into some back dancing. Root your feet down a little wider than your hips. Bring your arms out to a 90 degree angle. Start to lift up and lower. Alternate crossing your weights at the top. Tempo. Press and lower. Finishing your class today really strong. Your last little 60 second burnout to go. Hold the top. Little pulse. Turn your weights in. Connect your weights. Keep pulsing. Up and up. Now hold here, bring your elbows down, drop your hips, lift up, down, and lift, down, and lift, down, and lift, tempo here, take it down, up. Arms up, little pulses here, and you are done. So get your hips up, rib cage stays closed, heels stay pressed down to your floor. Eight more really good squeezes at the top for four, three, and one. And that is it, amazing job. Set your weights down, stretch out nice and long. Go ahead and bring your right knee up to your chest. Cross your right ankle over. Open up your knee. Take your left knee forward, lengthen your right leg. Cross your ankle above your knee. Grab your hamstring. Stretch your legs nice and long. Reach back, come right onto your belly and then right to all fours, so hands and knees. Inhale through your nose, exhale, push your floor away. Lift your chest. Inhale, exhale, round your spine. When you get up here, walk your hands over to the right and push your hip over to the left opposite your hands. And then walk your hands over to the left and just push your hip opposite where you're reaching your hands. You should feel a nice stretch all down that side. Good, come back to center with your hands. Find your neutral line on your spine. Take your toes to the floor and send it back to your down dog stretch. Start to pedal out your legs or just hold. And on your next breath, come down and just bring your legs right forward. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, lengthen forward. Roll up and point. Inhale, lift, exhale, lengthen forward, fold. Let your muscles release here. 
Roll on up. If you have some time, give yourself some more deep stretches. Take a couple breaths, make sure to hydrate. Thank you so much for pressing play, for joining me today. I hope to see you for a class again in our virtual studio or at our studio soon.